George Best. The most famous sportsman to have emerged from Northern Ireland and one of the greatest footballers the world has ever seen, the aptly named George Best rose from humble roots in East Belfast to dominate football pitches and front pages alike. George Best was first seen with a ball on the playing fields of the Craiga housing estate in the 1950s and his home was a small house at 16 Burren Way, just off Mount Merion Avenue. There's now a plaque to mark the house. Although it's within sight of Ravenhill Rugby Ground, where the Ulster team play, it was football which captured Best's heart. He was rejected by local club Glentoran, whose ground, the Oval, is close to the shipyards, for being too small and light. But it wasn't long before his talent was spotted by Manchester United's Northern Irish scout, Bob Bishop. Famously, United's legendary manager, Sir Matt Busby, received a telegram from Bishop, which read, I've found you a genius. So just after leaving Lisnashara School, a stone's throw from his home, Best went for a trial in Manchester and was immediately signed up. Early periods of homesickness in the English city meant several visits back to his parents' home in Burren Way. But after making his United debut in 1963 against West Bromwich Albion, Best established himself as a footballing colossus, inspiring United to many honours, including the European Cup in 1968, when he was also named the European Footballer of the Year. He went on to play almost 500 games for Manchester United. Personal problems meant that Best was rarely out of the headlines for the rest of his life, but it's as a great footballer that he'll be remembered. He died aged 59 in November 2005, and his funeral caused Northern Ireland to come to a standstill, hundreds of thousands of people lining the Cortege's route as it made its way from the family home in Burren Way to the funeral service in the Great Hall at Stormont. Both places, as well as Belfast City Hall, were covered in scarves and tributes left by fans. Best was buried in Rose Lawn Cemetery in East Belfast, near his mother Anne. Though he will be missed, the Belfast boy will not be forgotten in his hometown. Belfast City Airport has been renamed the George Best City Airport in his honour, and a large mural depicting Best in his prime overlooks the Craiga playing fields where he first kicked the ball. In 2006, the Ulster Bank printed commemorative £5 notes bearing his image, and the statue, paid for by public funds, is planned for the city centre. Just where we're standing is where George uh, played his football in the summer leagues. I played along with him and against him. The um, mural on the wall behind us is one that was done and commissioned by the people of this estate to mark George's 60th birthday. Uh, George and I go back, as I say, to primary school. We met each other about 1950, 51. George excelled on the school playground. Even at 20, I say, with a tennis, with a tennis ball, George showed his skills. And even at that time, we didn't, we didn't appreciate that we were in the presence of a, what was to become a genius. While we were playing around the playground, uh, I believe George actually picked up on some of the stuff that I was doing and actually perfected it where I couldn't perfect it. And that's why he went on to be the greatest footballer in the world, and I didn't make it, but I think he picked stuff up from me.